Moody now for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taken at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll throw now on the final play. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Both these teams making their final halftime adjustments. We're just about ready to get back to football. So for the call of the second half, we get back up to Philadelphia and Brandon God. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. So the offense a little antsy. The flag comes out and a five-yard penalty. And yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time, and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. Throwing on second down. It's Purdy. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And it brings up third and five now. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now Purdy. Flush to his right. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Purdy from the gun. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. Purdy's throw taken in by Samuel. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 25 yards there on the catch and run. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. On second down, McCaffrey. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. So the scoring dried up here in the third. Nothing that quarter for either side. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. 
And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. 7-7 is our score. Pretty even matchup so far as we start quarter number four. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. That's to McCaffrey complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Ball resting on the 20. This is second and 10. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Purdy to throw. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And they're going to get him down shy of the first at about the 13-yard line. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. And his kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. Hurts and the Eagles now. Down 10-7, 45 seconds remaining. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and ten. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Here's second down. They'll look to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. He'll look to throw. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Well, this is getting close to a no-win situation now. They've got one final shot. They're on their end of the field, and it's fourth and long. This might require a little extra razzle-dazzle to get it done. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. So the victory here for San Francisco, and you know, it wasn't a shutout. They didn't give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time, and the hitters get to see him, and then they come out after that, and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great, convincing performance. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Philly.